Nice to see you again in this video. Now I will share with you a secret that not everyone knows about solar energy. We can easily create solar power with just extremely simple items. Watch the whole video to see this miracle. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. First, I used discarded plastic bottle caps, then used a screwdriver to screw each cap onto a wooden board. Note, arrange them in two equal lines. Next, I used a copper coil with a diameter of one millimeter. I used scissors and cut the copper wire into pieces of 200 millimeters length. Note, the copper coil we use must be 100% copper material to ensure the best performance. This copper wire has the function of absorbing electrons in sunlight and generating electricity. I will cut the amount of copper wire corresponding to the number of bottle caps. Next I used a piece of aluminum foil. Use scissors to cut the foil into small pieces the same length as the copper wire. Note, aluminum foil is very thin and can tear easily so you should cut it carefully. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. After a while, I was able to cut a lot of foil. Now I will use this foil to wrap the copper wire. Note, wrap the copper wire tightly, but leave five millimeters of wire lead. Do it carefully and meticulously. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Next, I used a soda can. I used a drill to drill a round hole in the bottom of the can. Note, cut a hole in the center of the bottom of the can. Next, I will cut off the top of the can and keep the bottom of the can. After a while, I cut a lot of can bottoms. Next, I will scrape the insulation off the end of the copper wire. I'll put some tin on the screw head. Next, I will solder copper wire to the screw head.
Do the same with the remaining copper wires and screws. Next step, I will attach the can bottoms to the plastic bottle caps. I use a special glue to attach them. Next, I'll smear some tin on the dragon's mouth. I used resistors to solder onto the mouth of the can. Note, I used two resistors and wrapped them together. These two resistors, I will connect the two can bottoms together. After a while, I was able to connect all the can bottoms together. Next, I used a connecting wire to connect the ends of the two can bottoms. This wire is used to get electricity from the bottom of the can. So I have completed the machine that absorbs sunlight and converts it into electricity. Now I will test it. I will choose a place with the strongest sunlight. Then I use the circuit to increase the voltage from 12 volts to 220 volts. I use a fan to test the current. The fan was running smoothly. I added a light bulb. Awesome. I will test the stability of the machine by blocking the sunlight. The power system is immediately cut off. I have done this twice and it is still very stable and accurate.
What do you think about this great idea of mine? It's great, right? I didn't expect that with such simple materials we could create such a source of electrical energy. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.